Firstly, let's see how the system works when the circuit breaker is operating normally. Here we have a typical feeder circuit with a circuit breaker and a current transformer feeding an overcurrent relay. We normally connect the circuit breaker failure relay to the same current transformers as the protection relay. Let's now monitor the time to show the sequence of the circuit breaker failure. Let's now close the circuit breaker. As soon as you close the circuit breaker, current will flow through the CT. The value of the current will depend on the load. Let's now apply fault on the feeder. Once the current gets above a certain threshold, the protection relay will energise the circuit breaker trip coil. After a short time delay, the circuit breaker mechanism will operate. The circuit breaker contacts will open, and eventually the current will stop flowing. After a short time delay, we reset the protection system, and the whole system goes back to its original state. This is the normal fault clearance sequence for a healthy circuit breaker. The amount of time from the moment of the protection trip to when the current stops flowing is classed as the clearance time. This is fairly constant and depends on the operation of the circuit breaker mechanism. The time from when the current stops flowing to when the protection system resets is called the overshoot time. 